Well, hey everyone, how's it going? I have a do not try this at home video here for you. And I literally do mean do not try this at home. You can see how I have concocted a Genetry Solar inverter, a 6,000 watt Genetry Solar production inverter, concocted it into my house using one of my 200 amp services to feed the other one. And yeah, so get your comments out of the way about how dangerous this is and blah, 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 okay? Whatever. I'm doing this. Um, I know that it's safe. I'm not going to leave this here. I'm testing the inverter right now to see just how well it's working. So, uh, also testing these power supplies. So, right now there's almost, there's very little load on it. You can see there's there's a little bit of load on there right now, right? When I first powered this on, when I first started to energize this panel here, um, there was about a five and a half kilowatt load on it immediately. And so the first thing I thought was, oh my God, what are we using in the house? Five and a half kilowatts, what the heck is that? So I'm just standing here for a couple of minutes and all of a sudden the load falls off a cliff and goes right down to 1.3 kilowatts. Well, I have a, quite a few shop lights down here in the basement, but what I figured out, it was actually one of the hot water heaters that was running. It must have been running when I shut everything down, and so it came back up, obviously. So that's pretty cool that it's uh, able to run an electric hot water heater just fine. Um, so far, so good. Uh, it hasn't been running that long. Obviously, you can see it's only got an hour on it. Uh, it hasn't been running that long, but um, I am going to be sitting down here to watch it. And we're going to be doing some various load tests on this thing. This is a true load test here. I have the fortune of having two main service panels here. Most people don't, so I can use one to feed the other in this particular case. And yes, I know, grounding, bonding, blah, blah, blah. I get it, okay? This is not something that you would want to do in your own house. This is me setting it up to demonstrate how well our Genetry Solar Inverters actually work. The fans have not even had a reason to come on yet. You can see where the, the heat actually peaked out at 104, and that's where the hot water heater was actually coming on. So um, yeah, temperature-wise, this thing is doing phenomenal. Ambient temperature right now is 73.9 degrees, and this thing is uh, just chugging along. So I'm going to be basically running my house now on this particular set of panels the the furnace is as a matter of fact on this secondary panel here okay so the furnace is not going to be running on the inverter the barn is also up there not going to be running on the inverter and then i have a couple of 20 amp breakers for like this plug and i got another plug in the basement also not running on the inverter but i've got all the rest of this stuff here that will be running on the inverter trust me there's a lot of things here um, a few nights ago, I was running 14 kilowatts off of this panel. Ugh. And uh, But anyways, so yeah, we are going to be uh, obviously doing some testing, and we're going to see just how well this inverter does. I'm super excited, too, because this is what I've been really wanting to do, is get this inverter connected directly to my panel and start testing. So far, so good. Oh, and another thing. Sid is the best guy in the world. I have LEDs all over here, LEDs everywhere. I have LED strip lights, I've got a big Cree light over there, I've got another set of LEDs over here, a um, whole bunch of LED strip lights, right? Well, with an LED light, um, with a lot of inverters, you get flickering, and there's absolutely no flickering. And these were in my shop, okay? So these were actually in my shop at the old house. And as load was coming up or, you know, different things were happening around the house, these would flicker. And sometimes you'd get a little bit of a flickering spell where it was just no rhyme or reason. It would just start flickering a little bit. And I always complained to Sid about it, see if he could do something about it. And sure enough, he did. He fixed it. Not a single light in this basement is flickering at all. Whatever he did, he did an awesome job. A testament to his genius. By the way, here's some new gooey here. I know you can't see that too well because of the LCD on here. Let me get this zoomed in a little bit here. There we go. That's a little bit better. A new gooey. I'll get into that later. Some of it is the same. Um, 
We've got a lot of stuff here that is different, of course, the way that Sid has moved things around. You've got, you know, a different appearance and this sleepwalk thing by the way this is for demonstration this is so that i can do a live stream of the inverter running and it'll go through um you know all of the different pages kind of like a stored demo mode that's just for me you can still use it yourself because it's going to be in all gs inverters but um it's just mainly for demonstration purposes and of course you've got all sorts of different settings here Sid is building all of this up. Uh, seriously, I mean, he's he's throwing everything but the kitchen sink at this thing. He's doing a phenomenal job. If you get the chance, please thank Sid for his hard work. Fans have not come on once yet. Where are we at temperature-wise? We peaked out at 104. No, 110 up here. That was when the hot water heater was actually running. So temperature came down quite fast. This power supply here is doing awesome. Sid, another wonderful idea i am going to be adding another he did leave a slot here so this is running 48 volts uh let's see 49.2 volts actually so just above 48 volts and uh, this is actually powering the inverter that is being fed from this panel that is feeding this panel yes this is definitely not something that would pass inspection but this is for demonstration only i am testing this I want to show you guys just how wonderful our inverters actually work. Now, I've got this set up for stock. I am not going to unlock this particular unit. I've got it set up for stock. That is a requested thing. We all know that these inverters will do 7,000 plus kilowatts or 7,000 plus watts. <laughs> um, but I want to demonstrate this thing in its stock form so that you know exactly what you're going to be getting when you get the inverter. And uh, I think that's only fair to actually show what its capabilities are. So this is one of three inverters that I have I'm getting set up here so that I can get ready for things like daisy chain, three-phase, etc. We've already demonstrated three-phase. need to do charging as well. Um, obviously, charge isn't going to work in this particular setup because these are power supplies that are feeding it, not batteries. So I can't demonstrate it here. But I do have um, a small battery that I'll be able to demonstrate it on with a 12-volt system. Anyways... So, there you have it. Just wanted to give you a quick update. It's Saturday, and I'm down here messing around with this stuff, tweaking it, working it, trying to get it all good for you guys, because I really badly want to get some video. Ooh, what kicked on? Something kicked on. Yeah, almost. Almost to 6,000 watts. I, I heard it. I don't know what it was. It must have been one of those hot water heaters. I can probably run my uh, clamp on meter and check that for sure, but yeah. And these things no problem at all the element came right on it's not a surge load so to speak but oh yeah listen to those things excellent good job Sid you did an awesome job with this power supply and the inverter is having no issues at all running this load Let's see what the temperatures are coming up a little bit not too bad though. Awesome. Alright guys. If you have any questions, let me know, of course. I should probably move some of these things that are vibrating here. Temperatures are doing pretty good. We're still at 6,000 watts. That's definitely one of those hot water heaters kicking on for sure. Because I don't have anything else in the house that draws that much like that instantaneously. Cool. Oh yeah, those things are really running. But, they're actually blowing out cold air. So, these definitely respond to load and not heat. Cool. That looks like we're coming down a little bit. Alright guys. Oh, now we finally get the fan. Finally get the fan action here. Definitely feel some warm air coming out. Although it's... Still, the temperature, temperature on the main board's coming down still. That's the one we gotta watch, that number one. That's always gonna be the highest one. Awesome, that's a six kilowatt load right there. Almost six kilowatts, almost. Awesome, 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 this is so awesome. The power supplies work, the inverter's working great, this whole setup is working great. 
Alright guys, if you have any questions let me know. I'm going to be putting another 25 of the GS inverters up on the website here real soon. So get yours before they come, go out of stock that is. And uh, they will be shipped of course by Ocean 30 to 45 days after you place your order. We should have them. And there the load just went off. Sweet. That was definitely one of the hot water heaters. The great thing though is barely a flicker barely even a teeny teeny flicker on my shop lights down here barely so that is a testament to sid's code that is able to handle that just perfectly fine awesome all right i'm gonna sign off here and stare at this thing and have some fun if you have any questions let me know genitrysolar.com take care